What's going on YouTube? My name is Thomas and today I'm going to be showing how to use the Pokemon Showdown damage calculator and some other useful tips to use when you're playing on Showdown. Now, I'm not the best Showdown player that there is, far from it, I actually just got back into it about a month ago um, and I'm going to be doing some random battles right now. So let's get into it. Ranked about 1450-ish and First things first, I'm going to type backslash calc right here, and now I'm going to load the volume a little bit. And I'm doing this to bring up the random battles calculator, and it's already set to random battles, and right here you can just go type your Pokemon, and Buzz, and Gudra. And this looks very, you know, confusing, but just focus on what's going on right here. So up here. Looks like we can do a number of things. Foul play will do anywhere from 38 to 45 percent. Let's just do that for now. So it did 39 percent, which is right there, a little on the lower end. We just took a thunderbolt. So if we looked also down here, backslash Ranbats, Gudra, you can see all of their possible moves. So if you're ever worried about taking a certain attack, um, there you go. So we're gonna switch into Togemaru predicting either another Thunderbolt or resisting any dragon uh, attacks they might have like that. We take that very easily and now this sets us up in a good place to do whatever we want. So I'm gonna go for a Nuzzle just cause, you know, it'll paralyze the Gudra and they hit me with an Earthquake. <laughs> Which I should have looked. So. This is actually great. So this is a good way to look at your mistakes. Pull up Togedemaru, pick up Gudra, Earthquake kills me, and they had it. So not the best thing in the world. Let's see what we can do about it. Let's go back into... Let's just go back into Mandibuzz, just because we haven't showed them our other Pokemon yet. And yeah, we're just gonna go for Roost to take the Thunderbolt really easily. Maybe they even get paralyzed and hit us with Sludge Bomb. Okay, so let's just go back into Foul Play. Um, because I don't want to take any damage right now and we get a critical hit. Boom, so we're back. And I'm pretty much always at least looking at what the calc could be for an incoming Pokemon um, because unless you have it memorized, um, just having that knowledge is really beneficial. You can see like I didn't do that for Togedemaru and was honestly distracted at, at making this video that I forgot that Gudra had Earthquake. So now it comes in Carbink. Let's type that in. Carbink has Moonblast, Body Press, and we can't really do anything to it. So it could also have Clear Body, which I mean, we can still poison it. So let's go for Toxic. Um, and they're gonna go for Reflect. Okay, so we're basically walled on the um, physical side. It'll probably do a, um, let's see. This is also a great indicator of the set, so it could have leftovers, but it wasn't healed, so it probably has like clay. Um, there's the Stealth Rock, and I don't have Shell Smash, so instead I'm just gonna Rapid Spin and he's gonna take that toxic damage, we get a little speed boost too. So there's the light screen, which was expected. Um, you can just go for a Scald. I mean, he's taking the toxic damage, stall out a few turns. That's not bad at all. I'll take it. I'll even hit another rapid spin just to get a speed boost. Um, 1%, that's great. And take the moon blast, that's fine. He'll die from toxic. And we got the special attack drop, which sucks. I should've went for Scald. Um, Cause now plus two speed and here we go with damage calculations. So now I'm plus two speed. You can get my speed number, which isn't that helpful because you can look at it by just clicking on your mon. Um, and that's not Mandibuzz, this is Blastoise. Blastoise against Galarian Darmanitan, plus two speed, minus one special attack with a light screen and reflect up. So there's the all your um, field moves and uh, weather right here, terrains, you can add stat drops and all that. It's really useful. I just, I've seen a ton of Pokemon creators use this tool and I just needed, uh, I didn't know how to use it for the longest time. 
Um, that's why I wanted to make this video. So, what does he want to do? Probably f hmm, any number of things, really. Do we have any good walls? Suppose we could go into Hatterini. Um, I don't have anything great for Darmanitan. Ice type. Uh, I kind of want to get in Genesec, but just switching into it doesn't feel great. Maybe. Maybe. Hatterene. Substitute. Okay, that's scary. So, maybe Trick Room could be, could be good here? Um. Hmm. Kind of in a bad spot right now. We could Dynamax, because I'm not sure if that breaks its sub. Um, are we, we G-Max? G-Max Smite. Ooh, even if they have a substitute. We're gonna do that. Because we have a G-Max Pokemon, and there's the Belly Drum, which is fucking scary. Plus six attack, and G-Max Smite is gonna break that and confuse him, which I'm actually really glad we did that, but now he's in Zen mode. So, Galarian Zen with plus six attack. We are Dynamaxed. They can still kill us with Icicle Crash. So, let's go for Max Guard because, oh, there's the Dynamax. So I'm really glad we went for Max Guard. It hit itself in confusion and killed itself. I mean, come on now. That is very lucky. That is extremely lucky. He has no Dynamax now, and we've been using our damage calculator to see where the threat was. So boom, we got Gengar. I don't want to go for a G-Max Smite again, but I feel like... I feel like just going for Max Mindstorm is the best. Yeah, I mean, come on, what was I thinking? Nasty Plot, fair enough. Even with the light screen up, it still KOs, and we're probably going to take this battle pretty easily now. Um, but I really like to do this with the screen split like this. You could always just you know, full screen it and not do that, of course. You could always full screen it and just pull this up when you need it, but I don't mind just having it up. So normal fight, we're going to go for Psychic, um, Beware, Darkest Lariat. Don't really need to be calculating this because, yeah, it's going to die. And we might even just get the, the, the sweep off. And we do, in fact, the 3% left. So, just to conclude, you pull up Random Battles Damage Calculator with slash calc right there, courtesy of Austin. Thank you, Austin. You can use the calculator to do any number of metagames, Sun and Moon, X and Y, Black and White. You know, you can take your team and import it um, from Showdown itself. Hope you guys found this video enjoyable, informative, or slightly entertaining. Again, my name is Thomas, and have a nice day. Thank you.